Hi, I'm Crystal Kara ISD, and for this video, I'm going to explain to you about my health condition, uh, my current situation, and the future plans for procedures and treatments for my health. Um, okay, so I have a very rare disease called pitts jagger syndrome or gastrointestinal polyposis one of the first signs of having pjs is this on my lips the black spots like the freckles on the face on the fingers uh even inside the eye and inside uh the mouth those black spots or pigmentations are one of the signs the doctor said that uh, the more the th there's black spots then the more there are polyps inside the GI tract so uh, to simply put it I have polyps inside my whole GI tract and it doesn't limit on that I also have polyps on my endometrium lining of the uterus yeah and um of course uh polyps have to be removed because if it is not removed it could grow and it could um affect the health badly because it could block the passage of the food the digestion and it could cause intussusception, which um, could lead to emergency surgery. I already went under five surgeries already, but that's another story. So uh, other signs and symptoms of butz jagger syndrome or PJS is our um, stomach ache, abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, Dizziness, it's the same. Fatigue, an anemia, uh, and some other. I'm gonna just put it here. So for me right now, thank goodness I don't have a lot of symptoms anymore. Um, most of the time, I'm the worst case or the worst age. Uh, so I've read uh, the teen age that's where I got my all all of my surgeries because I, I don't know maybe it's the the time where the polyps are growing a lot so it was it is the time as well if if you know someone who has bits jaggers or if you have bits jaggers uh, teenage years is the worst time <laughs> of all and um, I've read that as you grow older it slowly, um, I hope it slowly fades, but what I've read is that it, the growth is getting slower as well. I hope that's right. And I hope that, the, you know, it won't grow back anymore because the thing with this is that the, when the polyps are removed, it will grow back. So it has to be removed again and again and again until, yeah, so it, it doesn't have a cure. It just needs to be like removed uh, through endoscopic procedures or through surgeries. But I don't want to have surgeries anymore because I've already they've already cut me five times. Okay, they already cut me five times. I don't want it anymore. Um, the healing process is more difficult. It's the recovery is more slow it's more expensive there are a lot more medications that i need uh so i would really prefer endoscopic procedures poly polypectomy col colonoscopy those kind of things is better so as for my current situation i recently had procedures endoscopic procedures with polypectomy edg colonoscopy and enteroscopy with polypectomy and uh my gi told me my doctor told me that i have to go for more for four more sessions of enteroscopy so uh, with polypectomy of course so that the polyps the, there's big polyps on my jejunum 
and it cannot be removed in just one go so it has to be like uh has to be like removed for at least four sessions or at least four more enteroscopy which is kind of expensive of course very expensive but um he suggested that i go through surgery <laughs> and we are like insisting not to because you know <laughs> it's scary surgery is scary because you know the risk of having an infection the risk of having bleeding the expenses the medications the slow recovery i already talked about that earlier i know the pain <laughs> i've been through there so i'm like really really scared so we will talk about it on monday i will have my checkup um on monday today is friday where and may 6 so i will have my checkup on may 9 i hope that we can talk it out and just go through endoscopic procedures still because the recovery there is much more faster because the wound are inside me inside you know inside my colon and not outside but with surgery i will have a wound inside and of course uh outside as well so i would just i would just rather take this lower procedures or the slower um way than the faster way but more risky you know and my mom she cannot like look after me like 100 200 percent because she's already you know she's not very young anymore and i don't want her to like i don't want to be a burden to her as well so um if i went through a surgery i cannot like just you know keep on moving and stuff so she gotta do a lot of things that i can that i am usually the one doing and i don't want that and you know the risk <laughs> it's really really the risk my mom is scared of the infection of like bleeding because of what i went through when i was younger so uh it's kind of traumatic so we're avoiding that we're hoping that we can just go through the endoscopic procedures and not go through surgery because yeah and for the yeah for the future treatments or procedures i have to go through enteroscopy endoscopy colonoscopy with polypectomy of course it means that i they have to remove polyps it's not because other people uh, go through endoscopic procedures and they just uh, the doctors just check what's wrong inside the colon and then they'll make a biopsy about it but in my case they know what's wrong so they have to remove the polyps and <laughs> so yeah there's a lot the doctor it, dog even said that there's a lot like he even told me like don't make it hard for me and i was like no i don't even have control over that i don't even know so yeah, it's a lot for me because as you can see, there are a lot of blocks, like pigmentation. There are a lot of pigmentation on my lips and on my face as well and inside of... So it means that I have a lot of polyps inside my colon, but hopefully all of them are benign as it is supposed to be, usually is. And um, I just hope that everything will be okay though i look okay right i i'm i can walk i can talk i can cook i can do all the sort of things that i am doing that as normal person is doing i can fix myself and i am really truly wonderfully grateful for that excuse me it's just so hot here because i am not using the fan and it's 1 p.m and i'm in the philippines if you know it's so hot here right but so yeah um i look okay and but the thing is i still have polyps and i can't deny the fact but i'm just going to live my life live my life and be happy and be grateful for what i have I'm, i would like to take this opportunity to thank all the people to thank 
each and every one of you who helped us financially, spiritually, your prayers, your help are a great big amazing blessings for us and I really really appreciate it. Uh, all your efforts doesn't go unnoticed. Um, God sees everything, okay? And um, I, I don't know how to ex express everything. Those people who keep on saying that they love me, oh my gosh, you guys are amazing. <laughs> and I'm really, truly one. <laughs> really, truly, only, only. So, I'm just really grateful. I just, I just want you to know that I'm trying to live my best life so that your efforts won't go to waste and i hope that you are living the most wonderful best life of all and i hope that may god bless you more and more because of your kind heart i love you thank you so much <laughs> i love you thank you uh, really, I'm, I'm sweating, so... Thank you. Again, um... Thank you so much. And... For now, um... I'll just try to do something. I hope... I... I don't know what to say. It's just, if you're still here and you're still listening to this, you're amazing. Guys, you're so amazing. And thank you, Paul. Thank you, Talaga.